Hi, guess who's back? Yes, it's Drew here at Drucifer's Idiocracy. Got out of rehab, pa chow, pa chow. Um, oh shit, um, I forgot something inside. Um, but anyways, okay, well, let me, let me do my little intro here. Oh, I spit on the screen, I think. Yeah, I did. Sorry, I'm doing this from my computer, from my computer, because I'm already home now. I, I was in Louisville, but I'm home now. Um, I couldn't, I was going to do it from my phone as soon as, like, I got out the door so you could, like, see the people who work there, like, see me and my Uber going to the apartment I'm going to live in when I move to Louisville, which, by the way, I'm moving to Louisville. Um, but my phone didn't turn on today. We charged it and it would, like, the screen would, like, flash on like it was going to come on and then it would turn off. And then it would flash like it was going to come on and then it would turn off. So if anybody... Write in the comments if you know how, how Apple phones work, because um, I can't get mine to turn on to save my life. So, um, but anyways, I'm going to, oh, shit, no, I, I remember the names, I remember the names. So I, I want to give a big shout out to three of my subscribers who wrote to me while I was in rehab. It was very sweet of you all. I have a, one from Nancy Strand. One from Darla Antonio, and one from Terry Clark. Now, I wrote Darla back because she lives in the States, but I didn't know how the postage was supposed to work for sending things to Canada or the UK, so I didn't write either of you back, uh, Terry or Nancy, so I'm really sorry. Um, I, I really wanted to, but I, I didn't know how that would work, and I didn't want to, like, send something and not know if it didn't get there or not. So I decided I'd rather just know that I didn't send anything because um, that's the type of person that I am. So um, I thought what I could do um, is regale you with some stories from rehab. Um, I got permission from a couple people to talk about them. Um, so, and there's some people that I'm going to mention that I did not get permission, but I know they're not going to watch this. So, um, you know, and if they do watch this and you're upset, text your sponsor about it. <laughs> uh, we were at a meeting and someone was like, I'm sorry, I'm going to cuss. If that upsets you, call your sponsor about it. That's what I need to say to YouTube because I, I miss cussing. I miss cussing so much on here. Like, you have no idea. Like, it was so freeing that for the last 36 days, I could say whatever the hell I wanted to, like, unapologetically me. And, like, without repercussions. Well, unless I was, like, in group or something, and, like, the group leader was, like, no cussing. But, you know, even the one last, when I was there last time, the one who was, like, no cussing, like, she was cool with cussing this time. It was really weird. Like, she's gone through, like, this whole morph of, like, hard ass to, like, one of the people, you know. So. Oh, and for everybody who is from Landmark, I'm talking about LT. LT is the T. Spill that truth tea, hunty. Um, Kelsey, that truth tea was for you, hunty. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've I've been smoking a lot and um, dipping a lot, which is chewing tobacco. For those who don't know um, colloquialisms for chewing tobacco in the United States, um, but I've been dipping a lot, so I'm not accustomed to the harshness of this freaking vape anymore so like i go to puff on it and i'm like <coughs> like i'm smoking a cigarette for the first time and i'm 12. see i can't even do a london fog anymore okay let's try it i'm gonna try it <coughs> damn it <coughs> Ugh. wait i'm gonna try it one more time London Fog. All right. That was for you, Mom. And and I know Nancy loves it, too. So that was for you, too, Nancy. Um, but all right. Here's the tea. So first off, I get there. I meet my hot roommate, Luke. Um, Luke, if you watch this, I'm sorry. You know we've discussed this. I thought you were hot. Um, but love you like a brother. Like, yes. Anyways, met my hot roommate and then um, hung out with this girl, Kelsey. 
Kelsey is young. Like, okay, basically, everyone who I got along with there was like 10 years younger than me. So what does that say about me? I would like, I would like to think that it says a lot about them and not that I'm immature. Not that they're immature, but like, you know, when a 35-year-old identifies with 24 and 25-year-olds, it's just like, something's wrong with them. Anyways, um, but Kelsey is like in love with Vine. In love with Vine. Like, sh sh there's some Vines. Like, okay, for those who don't know what Vine is, Vine is like TikTok. And if you don't know what TikTok is, TikTok is like Vine. <laughs> um, so Vine was this for like platform video Instagram combo. You could make videos that were like you could like edit like if you push the screen it would record if you if you let like lifted up your thumb it would stop recording so you could like change what you were recording on on the screen at that time and they would be like fifteen seconds long. Or 10 seconds long. I forget, like, how long they were. But she was, like, she, we were just reminiscing about vines. And so she was just telling me about all of these vines. Like, um, apparently, like, she really likes vines. Because, um, apparently, like, she's just really, really cool. So, um, apparently, like, Kelsey, I love you. Um, so I hope you enjoy that one, Kelsey. That was all for you. Um, and I really hope you watch this. Because, like, I mean... Like whenever, oh, by the way, sorry, off topic, I completed crocheting this. I was going to do a shawl, but instead I made a kerchief. Oh, but it doesn't stay on. What the, there we go. What the mother? Ho, oh, oh. ho. But chow, look at that. Yas Queen slay the house down boots. Um I'll put it back on in a minute because I I I have to put these little clippy things on it. This this this, this when you ask for a paper clip in rehab, this is what you get. <laughs> Cause um my rehab it was called Landmark Recovery. God, I'm sweating like a biatch. Um, it didn't have a lot. When it did have, it was nice. Um, although the meals were very lacking. But let me tell you what. The eye candy. Oh, my God. The eye candy. Like, oh, Sean, Will. Sorry, Adam. You, Adam, too. Luke. There were so many guys there that I was just like, damn. I wish I looked like you, because then I would just jack off in front of a mirror all day long. So, yeah. Um, rehab. Um, so, that was Kelsey. Um, I only got to know Brooklyn for a couple of days. Like, she left, um, like, my first week there. She was really sweet. Like, there, I was having a really bad day one day, and she came and pulled me out of it. And she was super, super sweet. I loved her for it. She was just like, I see you're sitting over here by yourself. Like, what's going on? Because, like, other people had tried to talk to me, but they were all staff. I didn't want to talk to staff. I wanted, I, not that I, I was sitting by myself hoping someone would talk to me, but, like, whenever you're, like, going through something, you don't want to talk to a staff person. You want to talk to a friend. And at that point, I didn't really have any friends yet. Like, I talked to people, but, like, I wasn't really close with anybody. So, like, she came over and talked to me, and that just made me feel all the better. And that got me closer to her, Kelsey, and Luke, because they were, like, a little trio. Well, then Brooklyn left a few days later, and then it was me, Kelsey, and Luke. So, um, it was a really fun, a fun little time. Basically, um, imagine me being really ridiculous um, and amp it up to, like, 10. Like, I had, if, if I, if I can say anything that I want, I will. I mean, like, no holds barred. Unfiltered. Spilling that truth tea, hunty. Um, spilling all that tea all over your effing face. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, what else? What else? What else? Well, then there was the Silver Fox, Jesse. I know for a fact he won't watch this. Um, he was really cool. I had a crush on him at first, and then I got to know him, <laughs> and I don't think he liked me, and I didn't hate him. Um, he just didn't seem to care for me very much, and so I'm like, all right, well, you can't have a crush on someone who obviously has disdain for you, so, um, you know, I think he just didn't like that I was loud. Um, so, you can't win them all, you know, um, but he was very attractive. Too, too thin for my taste, though. Like, and too straight-laced. Like, like, the kind of guys that I like, I think I've said this before, like, the kind of guys that I like look like they're going to beat the shit out of you. Like, like if they hook up with you, they're going to feel guilt and shame about it and then beat the shit out of you because they feel gay. <laughs> Not really, not really, but there were some really hot guys there that, like, I lived in that fantasy about, because, uh, Sean, but then I got to know Sean, Sean was actually really sweet, and I was like, I couldn't imagine him beating me up, even if I, like, made him mad, um, he was really goofy, too, which made him even more endearing, so, but he was very attractive, um, but... Then there was Jessica. Um, I'm not going to spill her truth to you, but um, I talked to her today. And, um, yeah, that was not a good conversation, but she was really fun. She was, like, the mom of the group. Um, well, she was, like, the den mom of the whole our whole wing. And um, Jesse was the original den dad. Then Luke became Den Dad, and who became Den Mom F? Then, oh God, there were so many Den Moms. I can't remember who all were Den Moms for who. I think Amy was Den Mom with Jesse. Jessica was Den Mom with Jesse. No, Kelsey was Den Mom with Jesse. Then it was Amy with Jesse. Then it was Luke and Jessica. Then it was Leslie and Luke. And then it was Keisha and Eric. Keisha and Eric were the two that got voted in right before I left today. Oh, let me tell you about Eric. Oh, my God. All right, Eric, if you watch this, I'm so sorry for, for, for telling your story. Um, so this guy, Eric, came in like... June 10th, and you know, it's, today's date is, what is, does it show on here? No, it doesn't. Um, oh, it's July 3rd, July 3rd, I should have known that. And um, it was, I'm not even sitting centered. Um, he came in and had a seizure and left and was gone for like a week, but all of his stuff stayed there. So we're like, he's coming back eventually. Well, he finally comes back. And he was, they were like, he was having like the DTs, which is the, the delirium tremens where you hallucinate because he was coming down from alcohol. And he um, um, was having like, like heart rate issues, blood pressure issues. Um, so they kept him in the hospital for like eight days. So he comes back and he tells us this story. He was like, yeah, like, I was hallucinating. I was sitting in the ER and I thought the doctor and a nurse, um, or no, the nurse and a security guard were like these two con men trying to rob us all. So like I was yelling at them to leave us alone. And then whenever they came over by me, I went to swing at what I thought was a short guy, but I actually punched a tall security guard in the chest. <laughs> Um, and like the people were trying to go into like a horse stall. He saw a horse stall and with horses in it and everything. And they were trying to go in there and he was trying to tell him to not go in there after he punched them. Like it was the way he told it was hysterical. Like I'm, I'm just basically telling his business. 
um, without without the comedy. So um, Eric was a really good guy. Like I'm I'm really glad that he came back and that he came out of his shell because he was like the, one of the first things he said is like, "All right, I'm really quiet," and then. Like the day he got back, I was like, Eric, for someone who's like, who claims to be really quiet, you won't shut the F up. <laughs> um, he was, he was really cool. He lives in Lexington with Luke, not with Luke, Luke and Lexington, Luke and Eric both live in Lexington. I'm moving to Louisville. Um, um, and it's. That's where U of K is, UK, U of K, UK, whatever is, and um, Luke is actually a police officer, and he drew a picture, <laughs> he drew a picture in group the other day and wrote in it to one of the texts from the worst police officer in, or from the worst cop in rehab. So I, I was in there with some really fun people. And I really miss them a lot. I, I made some new friends, like, recently. Like, that, that people that just got there, like, this week. Um, there was Emma. Um, she, her mom had gone through where we had been, like, a year ago with my now sponsor from Louisville. Because I got a new sponsor for, for when I moved to Louisville. Um, so, her mom and my new sponsor went through rehab together at the same place that we went through just at a different location. It used to be in a different spot. Um, and then there was a new guy, Brian, also gay, also loves the show, uh, that I shared about on here, previous episodes, capital U N H lowercase H H H. It's the drag Queens from RuPaul's drag race. And they talk about different topics and they're ridiculous. He and I, for the since last, what day did he get there? It's Friday, I think he got there last Saturday, maybe. I think it was over the weekend. Um, it was Friday. It was Friday. Definitely, it was Friday. Um, because I had already agreed to leave this Friday, and I thought I should wait until to go home on Monday, this, this upcoming Monday, because I was making new friends and I wanted to make new friends. Um, but it was time for me to go. But anyways, Brian and I would quote, uh, all the time. Like, <laughs> honey, talk about heaven, honey. Oh, get out of the rehab is, oh, honey. It's heaven, honey. Honey, oh, honey. Oh, honey. That was a really bad example. But I just got a rehab today. <laughs> Stuff like that. You have to watch the show to get it. Um, but, like, the fact that he and I can quote stuff and the other one knows exactly what we're talking about shows how devoted we are to this show. <laughs> and um, it basically solidified our friendship. So, um, and I also owe him, like, three packs of cigarettes. Um I only smoked, like, probably one pack's worth, but I know that he needs them, because his family sucks. Sorry, Brian, I don't, I was, no, your family just is at their wit's end. Um, my family sucks. No, that's a lie. They love me in their own way. But, um, anyways. Wow, I've been talking for 19 minutes? Damn! <laughs> F this, I'm dipping. Got it in the back pocket and everything. Look at this. Oh. There we go. I'm going to have to find something to spit into.
All right, got a cup. Oh, so what else? Um, some of the same people work there who worked there before. Um, like I know Hillary didn't work there because I, she and I stayed friends afterwards. Even though you're not supposed to be friends with people who were patients until a year after they have left. So, um, but she started dating someone who I was in there with. So she was already breaking the rules. So she decided to be friends with me. Um, but, um, uh, Hillary and Tiffany weren't there. So there were two new night texts and they broke up the shifts differently than they did than they had last time too. So it was really weird. So there were one, two, three, four new people, but only but only two shifts were destroyed. So they, they broke up the shifts differently. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But there were four new people on the women's side. Maybe some of them were only part-time. I don't know. Anyways. If anybody has a loved one who is in need of help, send them to Landmark. And request Landmark in Louisville. Say, Drew Hubbard recommends... And so I want to be sent there. That's also assuming that you're, they accept the insurance. But you'll be treated like a rock star. Um, oh, look at that boob sweat. Oh, God, I've been rocking boob sweat for the last 35 days. Like, just every time I'm outside, it's like, do I have tits? Yeah, I've got tits. Oh. Um, did I show you? Now you guys saw my haircut. Never mind. It's grown out. But I got a haircut while I was in there. They made the high fade a little bit higher. Eric, the night tech, cut it for me. But, oh my God. Oh my God. Last night, we watched Trailer Park Shark. It's a sci-fi original. Let me tell you what. It's terrible, but it's good terrible. Uh, we were going through our on-demands, and we were looking at movies, and there were like 10, 11, 12 maybe, that were like shark something. And the one that made everyone laugh the hardest was Trailer Park Shark. It's about a trailer park that floods and the shark comes up a river and starts to attack people who are trapped in their trailers. Or on top of their trailers. And uh, Mr. Belding from Saved by the Bell is in it and he's a bad guy. And like he got the levee to be blown up so the, so the trailer park would flood. Like, it was very terrible. Graphics were awful. CGI blood is just hysterical. But I wanted to watch it, so we decided to watch it on my last night. But, um, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Let's see. Yes? It's in my pocket. My dad wants my cell phone. The broken cell phone. You're on camera. <laughs> Don't flip off the camera, whatever you do. Um, now I forgot what I was saying.
I think I was just talking about the movie, and I was done about I was done with the movie. Um. Oh, I was saying. Oh, it was, was there anybody that I forgot? I mean, there's a lot of people who were there. Oh, this girl Leslie. Oh, it's just, I almost forgot. Like this is this is related. She made me this rainbow bracelet, and she made it for when we had gay pride in rehab because the last weekends in June is always gay pride because it coincides with the anniversary of the Stonewall riots in New York City in 1968, I think. Um, excuse me. And so we had pride. There were like four of us in there who were gay or lesbian or bi. And turns out, well, for the parade, there were four of us. Turns out there were like six of us. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but what we did is we hung up decorations. I got pictures of a meme that says, yes, queen slay. And it's a picture of the queen in, in a sleigh. Got two of those, hung those up. Got two pictures of Cher, hung those up. Two pictures of Madonna, hung those up. And two pictures of Bette Midler and hung those up. I felt like gay divas were like good decoration, you know? Um, and then some friends made some signs. One said, yes, queen. And, um, or slay queen. And it said, no, I'm saying, no, I mean, you feel me? Uh, <laughs> which was an inside joke between me and Luke and Jessica. <coughs> um, and then someone made one that said gay pride on pink paper. Um, so we had all these decorations. So we got into the rolly chairs from the, from the front desk office area and they wheeled us around everywhere so everyone could see us. Candy. Oh, candy. Okay. Candy. Got to share about candy. In a second, I will. She was holding us and said, I love you. And she changed positions from wherever our chairs were going. Like she went, she was at the beginning. And then whenever we came down a different hallway, she was standing there with us and said, I love you. Oh God. Candy was amazing. Um, and then after we went down one hallway, they were throwing confetti everywhere. And our vacuum was broken. So, yeah, fun cleaning that up. And then we did a catwalk to music. Like, there was music playing. We did, like, a little catwalk. Like, everyone walking all funny and sexy and being like, wee, 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 wee. And it was really fun. It was really fun. That was, like, my introduction to Brian. Like, because he had only been there one day. And it was really fun. It was so fun. But Leslie made me this bracelet. Because um, she had made one for a friend or for someone else. I think it was for a friend. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. I wasn't saying it so she would make me one. I was just saying, I, was, I saw her make it. I was like, oh my God, I love that. So she made me one. It was so sweet. I love it and I'm going to cherish it forever. But um, anyways, I... um. Need to talk about candy. I want candy. Bump 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 bump. I want candy. Bump 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 bump. She probably heard me sing that song at least fifteen times over the last however many days we were there together. Um, she came in <laughs> like the coolest lady ever. Like I wish she was my grandma. Like. She's actually younger than my parents, but, um, but she is one cool chick. Um, she, <laughs> one day we were just talking about, th like, drugs we'd done and things we'd done, and then Candy just goes into a monologue about all the stuff she'd done, and she was like, yeah, and I did a threesome when I was 45, and I did this drug, and I did this drug, and that, <laughs> she was and she she was there for alcohol, but she she was a she was very wild in her younger years, but she just went off on all of this stuff, and we were just all like, like we we're just enamored, just like she was just and she was she it just kept going, it just kept going and going and going and going, and um. 
I thought it was done, so I went in. But, like, I missed more. Like, more happened after I went in. I was so bummed. And we were like, oh, my God, you should have heard what Candy said. I was like, ah! Um, but it was just, oh, my God, coolest lady ever. Like, um, she, and she said at my goodbye last night, she goes, I would be so proud to have you as my, um, did she say my son or my grandson? I can't remember which one she said, but whatever it was, I would be proud to have you as as part of my my lineage, basically. And that made, that made me feel really good. She was a really awesome lady, and I really hope to stay in touch with her in the future. Um, she's she's too good of a person to not have in your life, you know. Like I've I've got to keep her in my life, and that's the same with with nearly all the people who are there. Like you know, there there's quite a few people who left whose numbers I didn't get, which I'm going to have to get from other people whose numbers I did get. But like, oh, Lauren, Lauren, I almost forgot about Lauren. I might have a job when I move to Louisville. Um, this girl, Lauren, girl, this woman, whoa, man, whoa, ho, ho, man. Whoa, whoa, man. Um, she has a seven-year-old son. And, well, I have to throw this out there. Lauren, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I have to call this out. She's She's got some knockers. And um, I didn't know that they weren't real until someone was talking about the fact that they were fake. And I was like, those aren't real? She's like, no, they're not. And I was like, oh, cool. Um... <laughs> She's like, you think a 40s, something one year old would have boobs this perky? And I was like, hey, you never know. Um, so, uh, anyways, her son is going to be going back to school this fall. But in Louisville, they're not going to be in school. They're going to be doing the distance learning thing still. So she needs someone to be a nanny for her son. And she thought I would be a really good match for her son. So, I'm hoping that her fiancé is on board with that. So, I will definitely have a job. So, um, I am good with whatever happens there. If we just remain friends, that's cool, too. Um, if she becomes my employer, that would be cool as well. Um, anyways. Oh, I've been talking for 32 minutes. I think it's time to end this. Um, once again, thank you everybody for still staying by my side through all this. Um, I hope you've all been having a great summer so far and that you're all staying safe. Um, I know COVID-19 is still really scary right now. Um, and um, yeah, we'll get through this. And um, oh, today is 43 days clean and sober. 43, 4, 3, 4, 3. Anyways, all right, um, I'm going to call it a night so I can post this now because it's going to take probably a hot minute because it's 33 minutes and 40 seconds long. Um, anyways, peace, um, pot and pro-choice. Um, and I love you all. God, I'm sweating. Look at that sweat. Look at it. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Would you look at it? When I see something like that, I just say, you got to look at it. All right. Anyways, I'm done. All right. Love you all. Bye. Oh, wait. Don't forget to subscribe. To like, share, and subscribe. I forgot how I said it. Like, share, and subscribe. You know. Oh, and I'll be doing an announcement for the winner for my giveaway maybe tonight. We'll see. All right, bye.